How do I sleep better? Discover how to get a good, restful night's sleep. Lack of sleep is frustrating. When it comes to poor quality sleep, don't you almost want to pull your hair out in frustration? Do you suffer from insomnia? It can be horrible, can't it? You stare at the ceiling for hours on end, repeatedly waking during the night, constant tossing and turning in an attempt to get comfortable. Your thoughts may be racing and you feel so very tired, yet at the same time so very wired. You wake up exhausted, worried about how you are going to get through the day. It just makes life less enjoyable when you can't get sleep properly. How to get better sleep. Luckily there are a lot of things you can do to help you sleep better. These include looking at your gut or intestinal health, your food quality and choice, your sleep habits, your toxins, an EMF, electromagnetic frequency. Gut and intestinal health. Your gut health or the health of your stomach and intestines is actually a very key consideration when dealing with your sleep issues. In fact, your intestines are also known as your second brain. The health of your gut is important for around 80% of the production of the hormone melatonin. Melatonin is your sleep hormone. So the production of adequate melatonin is therefore dependent on the health of your intestines. Melatonin production is compromised in people with poor gut health. So your gut health has a lot to do with whether you are sleeping well. Food quality and choice. Next is your diet along with your food quality. Are you eating what your metabolism requires or in line with your metabolic type? Is your food quality good or is it filled with a lot of breads, milks, processed foods, microwaving and so on? The key to many of my clients' sleep issues involves eating a diet more suited to their unique metabolism or metabolic type, as well as increasing the quality of those foods. We should mention coffee here. Coffee has a half-life of six hours meaning that if you have a coffee at 3 p.m. you still have half that caffeine in your system six hours later at 9 p.m. and a quarter of that amount at 3 a.m. and so on. So please limit coffee to a.m. hours if you can. Sleep habits. Next are your sleep-wake habits. Believe it or not, your circadian rhythm or 24-hour clock sleep-wake cycle is also critical to addressing sleep quality. Your body is acutely attuned to night, day patterns and seasonal changes. Our modern world with bright TVs and internal lighting that keeps us up to all hours cause a lot of stress on your natural hormonal rhythm. Ir irregularities in this natural cycle by staying up late or sleeping in late upsets this natural circadian balance, resulting in hormonal imbalances that can exasperate your sleep problems. It takes time, but you can reset your internal clock. Start by getting to bed earlier. Toxins. The next thing is looking at the toxins in your life. This can be anything from your personal care products to food-derived toxins to the use of plastics. You will be surprised where these toxins are hiding. They all cause imbalances in your body chemistry that can cause is issues such as poor quality sleep. For example, waking between 2 and 3 a.m. each night can often be a liver issue. By addressing your toxins, your liver can clear itself, allowing better function, and so less wakening between 2 to 3 a.m. EMF, electromagnetic frequency and radiation. The final thing is EMF. Electrical devices such as your mobile phone, TV, microwave, radio, oven, washing machine, etc. all give off electromagnetic frequency and radiation. This EMF can be very stimulating to your body and especially if any electrical devices are near where you sleep. So some good ideas are avoid the use of electric blankets and have your clock radio and bedside light at least a meter away and check what's on the other side of the wall where your bedhead is. Is there a power box, power points or any electrical devices?